I'm doing the uh, radiator remover on a Ford Explorer XLT. This one is a 2004 model. Look online of how to remove it. Uh, it's not really easy to do. Um, first thing before you do it, you can have to recover the Freon from your AC system because you have to remove the whole assembly that comes with it. Um, there's the condenser, there's the transmission cooler, there's a bracket that goes on the radiator and the transmission cooler. You can get to the bolt on the driver's side, this one, and the top one. But on the passenger side, you cannot get to this bottom bolt. You can get to the top one, but not the bottom one because of the way the transmission cooler sitting on top of it. I'll show you. It sits just like that. And you cannot get a socket in there. You have to remove the whole unit. That's one assembly. And the reason why you do it, because Ford engineer designed to put the freaking bolt on the inside instead of on the back side. So you basically have to remove just about everything, just trying to get to it. And then I don't have the transmission quit disconnect tool, so I have to remove the the hose from the the transmission cooler, and they use a special clamp. Where's the clamp? I think I might have threw it away. Oh, here it is. They use a special clamp right here with a special tool that clamps it tight instead of a uh, hose clamp and since I don't have the tool I decide to break this clamp off then I'll just use the uh, the um, hose clamp when I put it back on um, am I gonna put this bottom bolt on nope I'm not gonna do that I'll probably do it on the driver's side where it's easy to get to but I'm not going to do this in case I have to do it again. Yeah, that's very, very stupid of how Ford designed this. And the reason why I'm changing my radiator is because the uh, top of it right here, this plastic, it cracked. So coolant was seeping out of it. Most of the time you have coolant leak. <clears throat> from the radiator is just gonna usually gonna be from the plastic because it gets hot and then it just crack So I tried to super glue it for a quick fix, but but did stop it a little bit but um, I Just went ahead and ordered one for eBay for like 88 bucks I'm gonna go ahead and put a new one on uh, Yeah, before you do anything taking this radiator out you're gonna have to recover your Freon. Um, I don't have the uh, the Freon machine, so I broke loose the line and um, let the Freon out. Of course, you're not supposed to do that. It's not good for the environment, but I had no choice. I had to do this. But uh, yeah, Ford is designer or engineer is very stupid. So I hope this will help you. And if you want to see other video of how they take it out, you know, coolant hose and stuff, just you can search, research it. Um, it's got you got the bottom coolant hose, uh, coolant hose. Then you got the top one right up here, and then you have this bottom peak, uh, hose right here. Just disconnect it, take it off, 
because you got a couple of plastic shroud and stuff. The fan shroud come off in two pieces, so that's easy to take off. Uh, but yeah, I got it out finally. Cut myself doing it also. But um, I hope this will help before you start your project. Thanks a lot for it. Have a good day.